So, you wanna learn some cool effects. Well, in this video I'm gonna show you some of my favorite effects that I always use in my edits. If you like what you see, with the effects that I'm gonna show you, you will be able to do the same thing and even better. So, let's get right into it. To make this effect, the only thing that you will need to do is have your clip, like in this case, I just want to edit till, I don't know, till here, I think that's enough, fair enough, yeah, you cut it out, break compose it, while the second option, now here you add Twixter. I want to make a little pause here because you have seen many times that I use this uh, effects bar in all of my videos and all the tutorials and you always ask me about it. So well, uh, now I'm going to take the time to explain you and show you how you can have it because this is a really useful plugin that I think every editor should have. First of all, look for it like FX console on your favorite navigator. Or you can also go in the link description that will let there you will find it and you only have to click here on the one it depends if you have windows on apple it works for both but in my case is for windows once you don't land the winrar the only thing that you will need to do is extract here or extract key in my case because i'm spanish and then you will have something like fx console you only need to install it and blah 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 and you will have it it's totally free now we're gonna see how it works in after effects once you started the fx console the only thing that you will need to do now is select uh, your clip in this case and then press Control space you will see that the effects bar appears now you can search for all your effects that you will need just like that and even all the presence will appear here and this will save you a lot of time because if you go right here and effects press it that here's the section of effects when you click it sometimes it takes like a year just to open that effects bar so uh, I really hate that and this effects bar really helps a lot, a lot. And no, I'm not sponsored. It's just because I really think that every editor should use this. And something that I also love about it, that you can take a screenshot. And once you've done that, the only thing that you will need to do is open gallery here. I have talked some pictures from my projects and you can save it or you can also drag it from here. To the scene so link in the description again i'm not a sponsor it is just because i think that you should have it okay now back to the tutorial so here in the texture settings here where it says input frame rate this is really really important so i have seen some tutorials about twister where they tell you that follow their settings and they don't say nothing about it and this is the main thing that you will have to do or see before doing anything in this frame rate you have to put the same frame as your videos and how you can see the frame of your videos well there are some ways but the easiest one is just go to projects and here you selected your video here you will have some sections and where it says frame rate here you'll find how many frames your clip has like in this case mine has 23,984 so well we are just gonna copy that number here in the input frame rate okay so once we've done that you can now play as much as you want with the velocity or well with the speed in this case but don't forget in the beginning of your clip you have to make a frame clicking the clock in the speed that frame let it just in 100 trust me you will save yourself to don't have to deal with a lot of problems so always let your first frame at the beginning of your clip in 100 just like that then move one frame and here now you can play as much as you want like in this case i'm gonna put 300 and then over here i'm gonna put 20 select all your frames and go to your graph editor now here I recommend you to play with edit value graph I think it's better to make some kind of smooth transition or something like that so yeah as you can see it goes fast and then it's slow some things that you might have noticed is that sometimes the video like makes some glitches like it deformed the video to be honest i don't know how to solve that i always been dealing with that and some videos in some cases you don't have that and some others you will have and so many the way to decrease that number is to put the right frame 
of your clip once you have that the glitches will decrease down well something else that you can do is like imagine if you want to change it to another clip you can cut it here and make sure that where it goes slow still in the middle and then here try to put on 30 so you might notice sometimes that your video goes black it's because it needs more video so just increase it here uh, as much as you want and there you will have your video there back to graph editor and make some smooth graph I think it's pretty cool yeah it's pretty cool I like it let's go to the next one here I have two scenes two clips that I add to store it is the same process as I did before with this one as you can see but now sometimes I add oh well the most of the time I add twitch and for this we're gonna add a new and adjustment layer here we're gonna add a twitch we're gonna click amount amount will be here zero then uh, yeah this has to be before the second clip begins just when the second video begins we're gonna increase it as much as you want I always put it around 80 well here in speed I always add around 50 then you only have to copy the first frame to the other part of course it doesn't do nothing yet because we have to enable this here I always turn on the blur the light and the slide it goes like this pretty cool huh but you can customize it more the first thing that I'm gonna do is make it uh, like a smooth again I mean edit value graph I'm gonna make it like this like a mountain just like that I like it a lot but you can customize more with just going here and operate on controls and here we can see that we have the blur light and slide options turned on because we already turned on here if I turn off this like the light you will see that that option disappear here so here on live we're gonna increase it I'm gonna increase it around 100 120 yeah okay so yeah it add more like light in the moment making the transition so now you're only gonna copy that for the stars and for the beginnings for the next clips you know what I mean right that's it pretty cool Okay, now for the last effect, we're gonna work with elements. So for this one, we're gonna create a solid. And we're gonna add the element. So now we're gonna add a text. I'm just gonna work with the text because uh, let me tell you that element, you can do a lot of cool 3D stuff. So if you want a tutorial like getting more in element, just let me know in the comments and I will make one maybe for now we're just gonna work with uh, text I'm gonna type to the channel right now okay so yeah now we're gonna customize oh, well it doesn't matter really much guys I hope you don't mind but it's kind of late here so I'm just gonna get a coffee be right back so here we are back again in action so well here in elements just custom I'm sorry custom on layers here custom and text and mask and here you're gonna add a TD channel or what the text that you have in my case is TD channel so now we're gonna turn off this the TD channel we're gonna turn off the view because we don't need to see it now we're gonna click here and a scene setup Okay, so here we are, we find out that we don't have nothing in our panel apparently. To add the text that we just create, here click on extrude. And ta-da, there is your text. Now you can do some cool effects like go here in presence, add some bevels. Yeah, like this one. You can edit a lot of stuff here. I don't know if I should get more into it. But I mean, just choose a bevel and I think you will be cool enough with this so yeah there you got so here in group one we're gonna add particular looks I'm sorry yeah no particular looks multi object enable multi objects and here where it says random rotation we're gonna like increase it a little bit and you can do more stuff to be honest here and when 
increase, we're gonna add to the other side, and we're gonna do something like that. Okay, doesn't go that bad. <clears throat> we can also increase, I mean, the displays. Sorry, not yet here in this place. You can increase that. And here you are gonna put it like back again. Reset, you can cl uh, right click here and click on reset and there will appear a frame where it's back to normal. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, here uh, you can play with the, the speed graph because it will be easier, so I recommend you just to play with it. Okay, pretty cool. Now we're gonna work with custom texture map. So we're gonna click here and layer one, we're gonna click our video, our clip. Now here, we're gonna click effects and mask. So it replicates the clip and the tweak store, like it will put all the effects on it. We're gonna back to scene setup click it in here in environment wait okay, here in environment we're not gonna click here and we're gonna click our clip so right now you might notice that it's in black uh, in my case it is like this I don't know why though because I have seen some people that doesn't have that problem but you don't have to worry that much now we're gonna see how it goes I like pretty much how it looks And of course you can add like a motion blur to make it a smooth. And with the whole thing, like uh, with all the stuff that we just learned here that I show you some of my effects. Of course I can actually add, I usually add some more effects. Now. But well, I think that's that's pretty much all you have to know for make this. So guys, that is the end of the video. Please, if you like it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment uh, for the part two of this section. Nothing else to say. Don't forget to drink water and see you in the next video. Bye bye.